another stunning chub. Love it. Thanks for choosing to watch the video. Uh, you might have noticed there's been a little bit of a break on the channel. Uh, that's because I've been away um, on holiday as you do in the summer. Um, but I have been doing a little bit of fishing. Um, I've been doing a, a, a bit of a rud campaign up on the fens. Uh, I'll tell you more about that at the end of the video. Uh, so hang around to find out more about what I've been doing there. Uh, of course, uh, it's coming into very late August now. so just starting to think about the perch fishing. But on this one, I wanna keep things simple. I just wanna have a bit of fun. So what I'm gonna do, I've got some meat and I've got some pellets, and I'm just gonna move around the river, fishing from swim to swim, and just see what we catch. Not a big one. Throw a little fish down there. A lovely, lovely example for a little chumplet. Lovely. What a lovely way to spend a few hours before work. Yes. There we go. Just about swing these in. Cracking. This one's definitely got a few fish in it. But I think I'm going to go and look for some bigger ones. Getting lots around this sort of size. Good sport in the morning. Oh. A lot of smaller ones and I've got a better one. Yeah. Going, you will do nicely. Another one on the rolling meat. Such a good method for finding fish. This one's not big, but I've located some chub. Maybe there's a bigger one down there. Delete. Well, I ain't gonna get the big camera out for him, uh, but he's worth a quick video with a phone, isn't he? Up early, messing about with a little bit of meat. Catching job. Fish on. Yeah, you will do nicely. Yes. Early morning. A bit of free line meat, <laughs> a battered old chub. Fantastic, proper, proper scrapper. So that battered old chub marked the end of that session. I was back a couple of days later and caught more cracking chub. 
before going away on holiday for a few weeks, but you can be sure as soon as I got back into the UK, I was back on the river. I'm out on the bank again, and to be honest, it's the first time in a little while. Um, sometimes the family are more important than YouTube and fishing and everything else. It's been the summer, and I've just been with my family, been to Croatia, had a lovely holiday, but I am now back, and I am fishing. Very quickly go through the bits that I'm using. To be honest, it couldn't be more simple. I've got my 10 foot opportunist rod. Uh, onto that, I've got um, my axis reel, 4,000 size. I've got the barbel reel line on there. That's 12 pound breaking strain because you know there is a, a reasonable chance of hooking a barbel or even a carp. So uh, yeah, keeping that nice and strong. And as a hook length, I'm just switching between 12 pound or 10 pound smoke screen. That's coming down to a size six grappler hook. So a nice big hook to hold that big cube of meat. So let's get to it. And after walking for what felt like miles, I finally caught up with some fish. There we go, another stunning chub. Happy catching these. Especially from this section where I'm, I've not, not fished for chub or barbel along here. So, very, very happy. So you can tell it's got pretty bright now. Um, quickly take you through um, some of the things that I'm doing. Obviously, I am creeping around very, very carefully, very gently. Uh, the chub are very, very spooky. Uh, not just through this section, they always are, aren't they? So coming into the swim really, really quietly. I've got the Polaroids on so I can see as much as possible. It's a little bit more color because we have had some rain and we haven't had a lot of rain recently, but we have in the last few days. So it's a little bit colored. So the Polaroids are really helping out there. And, um, I'm mainly just freelining meat through the swims. Certainly when I come into a swim, just the meat, that's it. But then what I'm doing, I am actually feeding, I've got my bait pouch on and I'm feeding six millimeter pellets. Almost like once I've been in a swim and I've run the meat through, if I haven't had anything, then I'll feed it with pellets and I'll come back to that swim uh, on my way back. Um, so that's something that I always do. It's not just pure sort of rolling meat. I have got some pellets with me. I'll roll meat. If I don't get anything in the swim, feed it with pellets, come back to it. In terms of the way that I hook meat, uh, there's a fairly specific way that I do it, to be honest. Um, I want to keep the hook point exposed. So what I tend to do is I'll get the hook, I'll just push it through the meat like that, I will turn it over, and then I want this hook point exposed. So what I do is I'll have it up the side of the meat there. It won't be buried. I don't want it buried in the meat. I want it just literally sitting up the side there. I got so decent. Do not know what. Looks to be a barbell. Oh, nice to know you can catch them down here. Oh. You will do it. I don't know how fight one of these fish. 
Make sure he's tired out there because there's a lot of snags here, look. Does it? They got so much fight, don't they? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, trees above my head, but you're in. Boiling up! <laughs> We're out catching these. Incredible fish, fought like a demon, they always do. Love them. So there we are, that's me done. Uh, really enjoyed my uh, first session in a little while out on the river, um, fishing for fish for chub and barbel. I absolutely love this way of fishing. It's so simple, so straightforward. Like to keep things simple, as you know. And uh, yeah, really, really enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, then remember to like and subscribe and all that stuff. In the next one, I have been doing a little bit of rud fishing. I've got a bit of a thing going on the fens. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to sharing that with you very soon, I hope. Um, but until then, look after yourselves, enjoy your fishing and be lucky. <laughs>